Hello, Mark Crossfield here. More live golf lessons coming at you. Enjoyed the other two, so I've recorded some more, some more kind pupils who are willing to share their woes with the world. Got Charles here, struggles a little bit with a leftward swing path. Um, he's had quite a few lessons off me and we changed his path, but he's a serial, goes back to hitting a bit from out to in and loses the ball a bit off to the right for his liking. His handicap's coming down, he's got into single figures, but he wants to keep pushing forward. Let's show you what we worked on in this lesson to try and work on the same thing that we worked on in lots of lessons, but just using maybe a bit of different tech and a few different ideas of how to control path. Let's get stuck in. Right, Charles, if we look at your numbers here, look, you're swinging three left, so as you would call out to win. Yes. Okay, and your face is actually a bit closed today, which it normally isn't. Normally you would have your face more open to the path, but you have complained about hitting a few ports. We're gonna try and move the path to the right. Okay. Okay, um, and see what happens to the face. Okay. Um, if I bring your swing back up here, um, we were talking a little bit about what this dot is doing, weren't we? And what this, what your weight does or pressure does as you swing on this force plate, which is in our mat. So we see on the camera what looks like the 2D swinging left. You kind of call it over the top swing. Mm -hmm. But we see kind of um, pressure's really moving backwards as you come in to hit the ball. And as you come down, kind of diving violently into your left side so as in the direction of the pressure is kind of very leftward yes so again if you stand on the mat uh, you don't need the club just kind of stand up like you were just a second ago so get this dot in the middle for me so I feel like you're pretty that's good now just turn your weight in a way that moves this dot into the left corner okay so that's what you're a bit more down into the left yeah there you go there you go so that's kind of your idea of how you're moving on your downswing. And then do that again for me. So move it down into that left-hand corner. Now, try and move it back up into the right-hand corner. Yeah, which is kind of what you're doing at impact. Okay. So you're turning kind of hard left, coming to hit the ball, then moving back. Strange, isn't it? Well, it's not strange, it's actually quite common, but... I mean, we've moved your path on many occasions, but it reoccurs back to this out to in path that we that you can play, and that's why you're because you, you come back kind of every, you know, three months, two months, what have you, and it's often that reoccurring problem comes back, doesn't it? Um, if we do a few shots where you try and swing with your feet connecting to the ground in a very different way, yes. Should we see what it does to the path? Okay. I want you to feel like it's almost moving kind of sideways on rather than rotationally. Okay. Yeah? Yep. Okay, when you're ready. Okay, let's just have a quick look at that one then. So you could see we've tried to got Charles to think about the way his weight is moving through his body, um, or certainly how his feet is re uh, how his feet reacts with the ground, how he pushes against the ground, how it pushes back, those kind of feelings of how his weight and his feet are connected and pushing off the ground. Now, we didn't really move his path much at all in the first batch, uh, from the first batch to the second batch. So we stopped him pretty quick. I could see it wasn't moving. His path stayed at three across. Um, so then I tried to push him a bit harder. I gave him a few ideas of just trying to stay completely side on, swing his arms ahead of his body. So he actually got the face to line up a bit more in relationship to the path and maybe see a few different shapes. Let's see how he got on. you like, you're moving that way. You're actually moving that way, aren't you? Yeah. So you're there. Yeah. I want you to feel that you're, as you come into the ball, that you're so much more side on uh, okay. going okay. upwards. No, yeah, yeah, no yeah. that way. Yeah. Been there before. Yeah. yeah. And quite slowly, don't throw them so much. I feel like you're throwing your arms more kind of ahead of your hips. So you're quite keen to try and drive your hips, spin mm -hmm. them. I want you to feel if I swing one there. I feel almost that you're swinging your arms ahead of your hips. Yeah. So you're quite keen to get quite this way. Yes. The trouble is, is you move so much around that as you hit the ball, you start having to pull back. I mean, you're past this. You're going to hit yourself if you get into the hip. You have to hit from where you're hitting from. Okay. 
again. So it feels like you're throwing your arms at it rather than your body, if you like. Your body's staying quite still. Yeah, and I want your body to stay feeling more side on. Yeah, 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 that way. Hit a couple like that for me. Good, okay, so you're throwing your arms beyond your body. Does that make sense? Yes, it Then try not to open up so much. Oh yeah, lovely strike. So look, if you look at those ones, then, if you look at path now, um, so path walked in three across, path now plus one, so plus 0.9. So your path is moving right. Which is good. Yeah, you yeah. need your, you want to hit a little draw. Yeah. You need your path moving rightward. Okay. If you swing straight through and your face is open to that path like it normally is, yeah. then you're starting right and cutting it. You need that path moving right. Okay. That's I mean, that to you feels like you're doing nothing with your hips, doesn't it? It does. Um, If I quickly show you this one, Charles, look. So you can see here, this is one of your la later ones. Your hips are still plenty open here, and this too feels like you're not using them. I'd like to see them more forwards, forwards. so this foot just peeling up a bit more. Okay. Do your feet feel a little bit more like they're not kind of shearing in the ground yes, so they do. much? They do. Yeah, if you imagine you had old fashioned spikes on. Well, I think the, the, the beauty of coming to see you is it makes me realise how the bad habits have crept in. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, yeah. Just as a service. But if you imagine your reaction with the ground, as in if you had spikes on, all the ground was a bit wet, you would be really ripping that. Yeah. As you're going this way, yeah. your spikes would just be like churning that ground. You need to feel almost like your interaction with the ground is a bit more even with your feet. Yeah. Is even though it's not, that's the feeling. Yeah, it's lovely. Strike is better as well, isn't it? Oh, sweet as a nut. Sweet as a nut. Oh yeah, great shot. Okay, should we show you this? So, swinging three across when you walked in, first six shots and then your face was not working, but that's not normally your pattern. Um, you then, the last batch of shots there, your now path is zero and the face is too closed of zero, which is why we see a slight, over, like a pulley draw, pulley draw. fraction yeah. of, oh, it's still going to hit target. Um, and the strike starts, I mean, it's still varied, your strike, your strike is still an issue. That last one was lovely, look, two from the inside and the face just slightly open to the path, but, you know, apart from strike, that ball's got a good chance of drawing back. Um, you've moved path and you've not particularly felt like you've kind of like dropped hands or no. you've just interacted with the ground in a different way. Yes. So if you stand on the map for me, how, how does it feel different? As in with the way your feet, so the way you push on the ground and the way that ground pushes back, how, how does it feel different? Can you, can you tell me? Yeah, it feels like my feet are, are more flat yeah. all the time. Yeah. Okay. No, I, I Opposed to which way when you walked in? Lift, lift, yeah, spinning in the ground. Yeah, so absolutely. I, I, I can feel that the hip movement forward Good. goes out. Yeah. It's helping me keep my feet on the ground yeah. until I finish the shot. Yeah, yeah. And then it's. I mean, and like I said, I, yeah, even if your right foot comes up because your hips have moved across slightly, so if your right foot was to come up, say, because you're moving across yep. rather than just pure spin so the heel's coming up that's a good thing um, so when we look on the camera your feet aren't flat on the ground that's more what you're feeling well, isn't as I said it you when I came in, what, what I knew something was creeping in yeah 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 like you've explained what has been creeping in yeah 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 but I mean it's a slightly different way of thinking about it for you as well we've not particularly 
we, I've done that a bit with you before, but not always. But I mean, just today, you look so much like you were just trying to just spin your hips for England at it, um, which was just diving that pathway left. That's it, let's jerk up here. There we go guys, interesting one there, I thought I'd share, um, thanks for Charles for letting us share, um, he did really well, quite a different concept, we've worked a bit on it with him before but he's much keener often on just dropping hands and clubs and those kind of things, but I personally do think for Charles it's something, because it's so much more tangible that he can feel the way, consciously concentrate how on his feet are connecting with the ground and how he's pushing and shoving and shifting and rotating, um, it's maybe something that he can go to a practice area or a range and practice a bit more himself rather than a feeling of dropping the hands which can work really well or dropping the club underneath the hand path and those kind of things which we've done with Charles um, which are reliant a bit more on literally just shots you can't he doesn't feel them maybe as well he can't see them because it's up going on behind him where by not even thinking about his swing as I thought it's quite interesting now we completely moved his path in quite a different direction thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the live lessons plenty more coming Speak to you all soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.